Hey everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and uh, I'm actually going to be starting a new video series here. I'll keep this brief uh, to start it off, but I sort of started it the other day, but I'm going to call it uh, 15 Minutes of Game, and I'm kind of inspired by just all these games that have been included in the uh, Itch.io uh, bundle for racial justice and equality. I think... Uh, at this point, I think there's over like 1,600 games. They've raised over $6 uh, million, and there's still a couple days left to go. Uh, but yeah, I figured uh, to start off the series, I'll highlight 15 games, and th the videos will be at least 15 minutes long and just kind of showcasing gameplay, and I might go on from there and just kind of showcase, but there'll be videos like, not necessarily Let's Plays that you got to watch the whole thing, but just kind of scrub through the videos and like see if, hey, this game looks pretty cool, and I want to check it out. But yeah, I played like uh, 45 minutes of this the other day, and... Uh, yeah, this game's called Eat Girl. It's like an arcade uh, you know, retro throwback kind of Miss Pac-Man style deal. Um, let's just get into it. I'm just going to start a new file because it gets right into it. Uh, I, th I don't know if that's a percentage or a number of levels I've completed, but let's uh, get going. But basically, uh, you uh, can, just <laughs> can just go and stop, uh, but you do build up momentum, and even if you stop... Uh, if you hit the, you know, stop button, uh, you keep your momentum. You can see the streak, but if you hit a wall or something, you lose that momentum. So, in this case here, I can build up some speed and bust through these boxes, but not these. So, yeah, and even where I've gotten so far, I haven't figured out how to break those yet. Or, I don't know if you have to get an ability or whatever. But, yeah, this game's got full, uh, full controller support and... It's fantastic. It's really tough. Um, really just cleverly designed levels. Uh, love the soundtrack. Um, and, you know, this particular level obviously is like, oh, it kind of kind of looks like Pac-Man, but it definitely gets way, way more interesting. Uh, like even just, yeah, I like how like the dots or whatever you're eating, the pellets... Uh, kind of appear and then you have to get to like the center it's not always in the center but the little portal at the end of the level and it keeps growing and go from there so that's kind of essentially your tutorial and yeah even I just love like the polish of this game too like the way there's this big overworld um, it's been pretty interesting it's been really cool all right and yeah, there's like way more enemies than just uh, these ghost style enemies as the game progresses. This is again, just kind of getting things started. But even these have kind of like a different behavior. They just, if they, if you get close enough to them, they just kind of like slam down in your direction until they hit a wall. Come on. There we go. And yeah, this works with the D-pad or the joystick. I prefer playing it with the joystick for whatever reason, I guess. Oop. Just because it's, you know, arcade style. Yeah, just how all the levels have names, like the interface, like everything about this game is just pure polish. Um, yeah, these enemies here will just occasionally shoot out these beams, but if you get close enough to them... Ah! They will, uh, and it's one hit death. Um, and then you just have to start the level over. Obviously, they're not very long, but yeah, if you get close enough to them, they kind of, uh, I guess not explode because they stay activated, but whatever you want to call that. Give like a shock pulse. Oh! Ooh, close call. Okay. Yeah, like even already, it's like getting a little. Now, obviously not impossible or anything, but getting tricky. Yeah, there's been a couple levels that uh, have really thrown me for a loop. I just love the soundtrack of this, too. So, like, minimal, but still very melodic. And I'll make sure to put, like, in all of these videos, uh, like, the link to the Itch.io page and a link to, you know, the developer's website if they have one. Um, you know, and, yeah, the Itch.io page, like I said, if you can, where you can purchase the game if you didn't get it in the bundle. But, yeah, definitely still a little bit of time to get on that. And, again, there's, like, over a uh, half million people that purchased it at this point. So, it's probably a pretty good chance that uh, you've got access to this game. Thank you. 
And yeah, this is more like either one. It didn't, at first I was like, does it matter? Like, am I going to take a different path out here? But no, it didn't uh, make a difference. To the best of my knowledge, at least. But yeah, this is where it kind of teaches you that you can break these boxes. But again, you can't hit the uh, walls like here. I'm going to have to build up enough momentum. If you totally change directions, you do lose your speed. But again, you can stop and maintain that momentum. So if you need to, like, just pause for a second and think about what direction you want to go. Uh, yeah, let's check out this level. I think the path up has, like, a tougher, like, kind of... I don't know if it's a secret level, but maybe a, a non-essential level on the main path of progression. It seemed like there's been some like off the beaten path, like kind of have to secretly access them. Like even this level, that gray block up top, like I feel like if I learn how to break those, oh, I keep forgetting to utilize the stopping mechanic. But yeah, like, if I figure out how to break these, then, uh... There might be something up there, but yeah, I don't know at this point. Oh, come on! Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, this level's even called Stop Time and has the stop button reminder there. Just shows how much attention I'm paying. Take this one nice and easy. It's so tempting to just wait in that corridor. Like, you want to give yourself a straight shot. There we go. Alright, let's try to... Yeah, there's a couple choices here, but let's try to go up first here. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Oh no. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they're like if if it keeps track of like a time for, you know, if there's any kind of like arcade mode or maybe after you beat a level or something, but it doesn't seem like there's any kind of timer or any kind of challenge to beat. It's just just beating the levels and I kind of appreciate that even though I am a sucker for chasing those challenges and high scores and stuff like that. But yeah, this is where it kind of teaches you as well that you can break these boxes in the overworld. Do another little bonus level here. Like, yeah, I feel like, obviously, you don't have to do this level to progress. I think, yeah, this is one of the ones that took me forever. Obviously, not forever. I only played for 45 minutes, but... It's hard to keep that momentum going with this worm in these tight corridors. God damn it. Ooh. Ah, damn it. Come on. Yep, this is exactly what I did last time. There we go. Ah, 
Come on. Ooh. I guess, yeah, once you break these boxes, they kind of start heading down a different path. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. One more. Whew. Yeah, some of these levels are just like, oh, I don't want to do that again. Not because they're not fun, but... Because <laughs> I suck. Oh. This, is, this one took me a long time as well. Hopefully not this time, though. Oh. Oh. Oh no. No! Oh, I tried to turn too tight there. Ah. Oh. Looking like a re that's only one death. I was gonna say looking like a repeat. There we go, last bit. Okay. No. God. Ah. Last bit, my ass. Oh no. No! No. Oh my god. I hit the wrong button to stop there for a second. In a panic. There we go. There we go. Yes, right on the exit. Ooh, lucky. Okay. Thankfully so far, hopefully none of these have been punishing, punishingly long to watch. Oh yeah, I forgot these break the boxes as well. Oh. Come on. Come on. So yeah, sometimes you yeah, you have to wait for like the exit to grow outside of the boundaries. But yeah, this uh, this game's just the whole package for sure. Again, uh, this is almost like yeah, this is like sort of like a boss battle. I mean, you don't attack, it's still the same type of gameplay, but there's kind of like a this enemy just keeps homing in on you or honing in on you. I never know which one is the correct term. And again, yeah, you don't... Uh, oh my god. 
you don't have to break any boxes in this level, but it definitely makes things a little easier. Ah, oh, you There we go. Ah, oh, yes. Whoops. Ah, oh, crap. That would have been perfect. Could have kept that going and broke all the boxes on the on the outer wall. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. But yeah, it's like once you lose your momentum, you're kind of out of luck. I love the AI on this enemy, like the way it behaves. Feels like you can like just, you know, outsmart it by a tiny bit, but it's definitely like it kind of anticipates your movements a little bit. Oh no, get there. Sound like a golfer. Get there. And then they start introducing these teleporters, even even into the levels as well. Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, right here is the first time. And I didn't get too much further than this. Oh no. Oh no. Damn it. There we go. Damn it. Thought I'd have enough speed. Okay. So that's not the tactic. Come on. Again, thought I'd have enough speed there. Shit. Oh. Okay, okay. Oof. Nope. Fuck that. There we go. Come on. Thought for sure I'd have enough speed. There we go. Boom, baby. That's a fun one. They're all fun ones. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh, man. Oof. Oh. Do this tougher part first. No. There we 
There we go. Oh, easy breezy. Oh, no. The ghost wasn't in this room at first. Or whatever it is. It might not even be a ghost. Whew. This is a tough one as well, if I recall. Because, yeah, if you get close enough to them, and then if they end up uh, going uh, horizontally into those portals, they'll just continuously uh, keep shooting through them because they'll otherwise uh, keep going until they hit a wall. So if they're going through one of those portals, they will... Oh, come on. They'll never hit a wall. There we go. I'll trigger it on purpose. So yeah, it'll just keep like darting across the bottom like that. Oh no! If they go vertically, it's not a problem, but... And you can still do it, but it definitely makes it tougher, especially if you have multiple... enemies that are... or multiple, uh, there you go. Multiple lanes. Oh no, all of the lanes. Oh no! Ah, turn too quick. Turn too quick. Okay. Now that I'm not trying to trigger them to show it off. Yes, yes. There we go. Alright, I should be able to pull this off if I don't botch it here. Get out of there. All right. Let's see where this goes. I think I played this one. Uh, actually, no, I don't think so. Maybe I did. Oh, come on. Barely. Oh, ah, I was going to say, that was close, but didn't matter in the end. Ah, I thought I could maybe trigger them both before they shot. Just one of them. Hey, you want to trigger him in this case? Fuck. Sometimes to just break up the lightning bolts. Oh shit. Oh, come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh yeah. Holy shit. Come on. Come on, you got this! Oh crap. Yes! Oh man, that was... I don't think I did do that one. Pick up speed through the portals here. This is kind of cool. Ooh, I was gonna say better not whiff it, but no, yeah, I, de I definitely played over to here, so I don't know. I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Idiot. Oh, idiot again. try to do. Oh, yeah. I sort of lucked into that. But it worked out pretty well. Oh, no. There it is. Last set. Game set match. Looks like I'm going to have to do some box breaking. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, maybe not. Well, I mean, I've got to break them, but maybe the enemies will do it for me. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. I didn't think that would have worked. Yes. Keep it. Oh. Go! Oh. Damn it. I don't think I played this level, and this level is awesome. So these things... Idiot. These things can see right through walls, too. There we go. 
Oh, you can't even fuck with me. I'm, gonna, I'm s totally gonna mess this up now. Ooh. Come on. Yes. Get it. Nowhere in sight. Get out of here. Thwomp. It's very much like that. I think it's the. Th its name is Thwomp in uh, Super Mario. Yeah, this game's incredible. Even if you only donated the bare minimum of, oh god, of five dollars, uh, this game alone is worth it. And there's more than 1,500 other games. Uh, it's just crazy. But obviously, a lot of people donated more than the bare minimum. Uh, being that they raised over six million dollars already. Uh. Yeah, I was not aware of this game before the bundle, but even if I had purchased this game for, a, you know, 10 or 15 bucks or something, I would not even think twice about this. Um, yeah, this is, the, this is the real deal. Again, having no idea how long it is, but it, it seems like there's a... A good amount here, and these are like handcrafted levels, uh, a little bit more so than, you know, Pac-Man or something like that, in my opinion. And I hate that I keep comparing that uh, this to that, but uh, it's just, you know, it's uh, just the easy comparison to make. But, uh, you know, there's obviously other arcade games that utilize this mechanic. Oh! This will probably be the last level I try to beat here on this stream or maybe there were maybe I think there were two levels like right next to each other uh, here uh, in the overworld so maybe I'll try to beat this level and that level if I can if I can even beat this one yeah that thwomp like enemy going through the portals is rough Okay, making it easy on me. Go. Should get it. There we go. Yeah, if there's, yeah, one more here. This is one of those games, like, that's always the good si or sign of a great game when you're just like, one more, one more. And it never ends. Oh yeah, how do you like that? I'm getting the hang of it. Get, I don't use this is like a different controller than I usually play games. Ah, oh, come on. Then I usually play games with. I'm using one of those uh, 8-bit dough uh, SN30s. So it's not what I'm used to playing with. I really don't even play PC games at all. Uh, I usually just play. Uh, mostly on my Switch, a little bit on my PS4, and on my uh, Xbox One, but this definitely uh, just gave me an instant PC gaming library. Oh! Whew. Crap. No! Ugh. What am I doing? How do you get out of sync on the first part? Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. Dang it. I guess I won't really matter here. God. Oh yeah, on a mission. Oh my god. Okay. Crap. Oh. Just whiffed it. Getting antsy. Once you feel like it, like when I had that perfect path that one time, it's like, oh, I, I got this part mastered. Not quite. That'll do it, though. God! I keep forgetting to stop, too, or to utilize the stop. I mean, obviously, it wouldn't help me in that particular situation, but just to breathe for a second. There we go. Come on. Okay. Nope. Oh my god. Holy crap. Just go. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How is that even possible? Oh, that's so annoying. What an idiot. Me, obviously. No. Whiffed it again. Jesus. Go. What the hell? Come on, you idiot. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Okay. No! <laughs> I don't know why I was trying to beat that uh, to the punch. I should have tried to trigger it and then 
gone from the opposite direction. What am I... That was just dumb. Not making excuses, but yeah, my <laughs> my hands are clamming up. Which is for me, if you like, you know, those kinds of games where you're gripping the control a little bit tighter and you know starts kicking your ass a little bit. Uh, if you like that kind of a gaming experience, then this one definitely fits that bill. Oh, come on! Yes, go 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 go. Come on, you fucking idiot. <sighs> okay, breathe for a sec. Come on. Right, I'm going to give this a few more tries. If I can't do it, then I might have to pull the plug without completing this level. But hopefully not. Get out. Get out of here. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Go. Yes. Yes. Ah. <sighs> Okay, I'm definitely going to stop there. But yeah, uh, stay tuned to our Twitch and our YouTube channel for uh, more of these videos in the future because I'm definitely going to do a bunch of these, especially while I'm unemployed right now. You know, I'm uh, pretty much just job hunting during the day on the computer and then playing video games uh, and taking breaks through, <laughs> you know, especially with little bite-sized experiences like this. Like, again, you can save it and quit at any time. Uh, Let's see, yeah, return to title, and then let's see how many levels I beat here. So 18, yeah, I got a little further. So, um, and yeah, just pick up, right? It's, you know, it feels pretty much like I'm playing on a console. You know, I got my laptop even actually closed and I have it hooked up to my TV. So definitely, uh, you know, at least someone with not a ton of uh, gaming experience uh, on a computer. This is awesome. Uh, so yeah, definitely recommend Eat Girl. Check the links for, uh, you know, I actually talked about it on the podcast. It's coming out uh, this coming Monday as well. So I'll have a link to that episode uh, and I'll have a link to, uh, you know, all the where you can buy the game or where you can uh, donate to the bundle and stuff like that. If it's still active when the video is alive. And uh, yeah, uh, we have new episodes of the podcast every Monday and otherwise take care. Hope you're doing well, staying safe, healthy and all that on top of everything going on right now. Yeah, stay safe and uh Take care.